वेलकम वी विल स्टार्ट विद वेरी बेसिक क्वेश्चन एंड देन गो इन डिटेल फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हाट डज एच स्टैंड फॉर और व्हाट इज फुल फॉर्म ऑफ एच फुल फॉर्म ऑफ एच इज हाई परफॉर्मेंस लिक्विड क्रोमेटोग्राफी व्हाट इज द प्राइमरी पर्पज ऑफ एच इन द फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री प्राइमरी पर्पज ऑफ एच इन फार्मा इंडस्ट्री इज सेपरेशन एंड क्वांटिफिकेशन ऑफ कंपोनेंट्स इन ए सैम्पल What is the mobile phase in HPLC? The mobile phase in HPLC is the liquid solvent that moves through the chromatographic column. Define stationary phase in HPLC. Stationary phase in HPLC is the solid or liquid phase that does not move and interacts with the sample. What is the typical particle size of HPLC column packing material? Answer is 3 to 5 micrometers. Explain the purpose of the detector in HPLC. The purpose of the detector in HPLC is to detect and quantify separated components in the eluent. What is the retention time in HPLC? The retention time in HPLC is the time a component spends in the stationary phase. Why is gradient elution used in HPLC? gradient elution used in hplc to improve separation by changing the solvent composition during analysis what is the purpose of the guard column in hplc the purpose of the guard column in hplc is to protect the analytical column from contaminants explain the concept of peak asymmetry in chromatography peak asymmetry in chromatography indicates the asymmetrical shape of a chromatographic peak often caused by a column overloading how does temperature affect hplc separation temperature affect hplc separation by influencing analyte retention and resolution what is the significance of the injection volume in hplc injection volume in hplc affect peak shape and resolution What is the role of the pre column in HPLC? Pre column in HPLC removes impurities before the sample reaches the analytical column. Why is isocratic elution used in HPLC? Isocratic elution used in HPLC as it involves a constant mobile phase composition simplifying the analysis. What is the purpose of the equilibration step in HPLC? Equilibration step in HPLC ensures the column is in a stable and reproducible state before sample injection. Explain the term dead volume in HPLC. Dead volume in HPLC is refers to the volume in the system that does not actively contribute to the separation. How does the flow rate affect HPLC separation? Flow rate influences the speed of analysis and resolution. What is the role of guard column in HPLC? Guard column in HPLC protects the analytical column from contamination and extends its lifespan. Define the term selectivity in HPLC. Selectivity in HPLC is the ability of the column to differentiate between closely related compounds. What is the purpose of the sample solvent in sample preparation for HPLC? Sample solvent dissolves the sample and is compatible with the mobile phase. Why is HPLC preferred over other chromatographic techniques in pharmaceutical industry? Because it offers high sensitivity, resolution and speed of analysis. How does pH affect HPLC separations? pH can impact analyte ionization and column stability. Explain the concept of peak capacity in HPLC. Peak capacity represents the ability of a chromatographic system to separate peaks. What is the significance of the detector wavelength in HPLC? Detector wavelength should be chosen based on the absorbance maxima of the analyte for optimal sensitivity. How does column length impact HPLC separation? 
longer columns generally provide better resolution but may increase analysis time what is the purpose of a sample loop in the injection system of hplc sample loop precisely introduces a known volume of the sample into the mobile phase explain the concept of system suitability in hplc system suitability in hplc ensures that the chromatographic system is suitable for the intended analysis by checking parameters like resolution and peak symmetry what is the significance of the cut off wavelength in uv detection for hplc cut off wavelength in uv detection for hplc defines the shortest wavelength at which a compound can be detected how does column diameter affect hplc performance smaller diameter columns provide higher efficiency and sensitivity but may have limitations in sample loading why is it essential to degas the mobile phase in hplc it is essential to degas the mobile phase in hplc because it removes dissolved gases that can interfere with the accuracy and precision of the analysis what are the limitations of hplc technique used in the pharmaceutical industry following are the five major limitations of hplc technique used in pharma industry first limited sensitivity for low abundance compounds second need for skilled personnel third potential for sample matrix effect fourth inability to analyze volatile compounds and fifth cost of equipment and maintenance this one is very frequently asked question question is which usp chapter talk about hplc in the pharmaceutical industry and what is title of that chapter answer is the main chapter that addresses hplc is usp chapter number 6 to 1 titled chromatography which guidelines are commonly referred for hplc in the pharmaceutical industry following are the five guidelines that are very commonly referred for hplc in pharma industry first ich q2 r1 second usp chapter number 6 to 1 third usp chapter number 1 to 2 fourth fda's guidance for industry and fifth european pharmacopeia chapter number 2.2.46 for more videos related to our pharmaceutical industry you can visit playlist of farm grow youtube channel thanks for watching